Daddy, you go crazy. So, you know, you moving forward, you know, you get the Don to look, you know what I mean? Um, you were placed on the album, you know what I'm saying, which is another huge look, you feel me? So now it's like shit, you you didn't emerge, you know what I'm saying? You be merged in the rap game. Um uh, how how you feeling now? Like, you know, what 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 took place after the whole Kanye West uh, collaboration? Well, I'm gonna kinda go before it, you feel me? But before it, it was kinda like music was moving, you feel me? My shit was moving, don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? That shit that GD out there, that shit hit the that shit went out. You know what I'm saying? And Ye was able to see it. You get what I'm saying? So shit was popping. I was already bringing in revenue. You know what I'm saying? I had already had plans on like, I, I got to move out. You know what I'm saying? I got to I gotta move like from the city. Like, cause you know how the city is. You got to get away from the shit. And if you want to succeed in this shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I had already had plans on moving. Yeah, and that was just like ice, you know, yeah. ice cream on you know, top of the cake. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, that happened. Then it really like, you know what I'm saying? I got focused. I was writing a lot. You know what I'm saying? Got able to bring, turn that shit into some checks. You know what I'm saying? That's how it go. You know what I'm saying? You got to turn that. That's with anything in this industry and in music. That's the goal with everybody to make a check, turn it into a check, literally. You feel me? Yeah. So I did that. You know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, I ain't going to lie, I made my first, um, 500,000, you feel me? Okay. I'm just like, damn, I ain't never in my life seen this amount of money, you feel me? Mm -hmm. This 500,000, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to sit down with me and my lady, you feel me? And my, my, my family, we sat down, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to figure out plans and shit. Mm -hmm. That's all, you know, I can't lie at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell nobody how to think with it. That shit get tough, you know what I'm What's saying? Up? If you ain't never had that amount of money, you a Fuck that shit off out here. Like, you for saw real. niggas were acting with the niggas PPP. Niggas be tripping. Niggas, are, man, I swear to God, and watch niggas fuck that shit off. Niggas get that shit, say what they gonna do, and fuck it right off. Mm -hmm. But I did a lot of fucking off, you feel me? For sure. But I caught it, you feel me? I caught that shit. I'm like, hell no. Nah. I can't go, bro. I'm gonna be looking stupid as hell out here. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Got this image, you got everything going on, but you broke. Mm -hmm. Nah, I can't go down that road, you feel me? So I got to looking into real estate and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Me and my girl, we got shit going on with real estate. We've been just trying to keep this shit building with in the family, you know? Yeah. Well, that's what's up, man. I'm glad to hear that, especially because, like you said, a lot of people, they get it. Cause it ain't about getting the money. It's about managing the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What you do with the money. Yeah, you got to, because this one thing about it, you got to always have something, a passive income, bro. Something that's paying your rent. Niggas will literally work for a check to pay their rent. You gotta have some shit working on itself already, paying that rent. You feel me? Like for real. Like I, already, I got shit that pay my rent already. I don't even have to dig in money to pay my rent. You feel me? So every month that's counted for already. I don't even have to dig in money to do that. That's how it goes. You know, you gotta think smart, bro. I got properties in Chicago, like. I just don't speak on shit. You know how this shit go. Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, we trying to flip this shit. I just been flipping them in. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'll do the landlord thing. I'll think about some landlord shit, but I don't, I can't deal with nobody on no landlord shit. I don't want to have to fuck nobody. I'll be one of them landlords that fuck somebody up <laughs> about my rent. <laughs> Don't play with my rent. For I'm fucking, I'll be at your door like, hey man, it's been two days, Joe. If I need that rent, John. I'm like, damn, it's only two. It's only the third, hey, damn. Man, I need my rent, man. My fucker, man. What I up, told you I got you. <laughs> but yeah. But man, I definitely want to get uh, your thoughts on some things that's been um, trending lately, you know, in the internet world. Uh, but before that, it's one thing I do want to, uh, you know, point out. Because uh, you seem like a cool, you know, laid back, you know, well mannered type of guy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, when I see people like Adam 22 kind of like attempting to attack at you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ruga hold this L, you know. Uh, you know why? Yeah. What? What? He, what does that type of energy come from? He just mad. He mad because I um because I made a valid point on um. Called him, I called him out on his shit, what he usually do, right. the bullshit on the interviews. Right. 
Like, honestly, I genuinely fucked with Adam. You feel me? Like, I can't, I was coming, I reached out to Adam to do the interview. You feel me? I wanted to come on Adam's shit, crack some jokes and laugh, you know what I'm saying? Vibe on his um, podcast, you know what I'm saying? Because last time we kind of had a viral interview, you feel me? They was fucking with it. And it was genuine, you feel me? We wasn't on that. But even though every interview he did ask me about some, you know, some op shit and just, but it wasn't even about the ops, you feel me? Like, I talked to him off camera. I told him, I'm like, all right, bro, you know, just same shit I just told you. I'm right. like, I don't want to speak on this, you know what I'm right. saying? I don't even want to, I, I told him just like this, I ain't even going to sugarcoat it. I told him, I don't want to speak on a billionaire shit, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, we, we, me and billionaire still chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? That's what he don't understand, me and billionaire done chopped it up. At the end of the day, we chopped it up, let bygones be bygones, it was what it was. But he don't use, and I told you off camera, don't ask me about it. Then as soon as we get the rolling, you, oh yeah, so you said off camera that you didn't want to talk about, woo woo, but I'm going to ask you, why the f would you do that? Right. You know what I'm saying? Now my mood is just thrown off. Now I feel like you want some weird shit, you feel me, as a person. <laughs> you see me? Now it's like, then you ask me shit like, you're not going to clap back at him? You want me to clap back at billionaire, you know what I'm saying, on your, on your, on your platform? And it's like, Bro, we grown as hell. You steady trying to egg on some beef shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and this man and just chopped it up on some real shit. Cause we know this shit could get out of hand. This shit lead to somebody getting hurt. You feel me? But all you making it about is this goofy shit. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? No. And I wasn't feeling that shit. I ain't feel like it was genuine. You feel me? So I called his ass out on what he did. Mm -hmm. And just, I ain't even, I didn't even, I just posted the video and said how I felt about it. Yep. And, and let everybody else judge it. And everybody was literally seeing, seen it. it. It was right there. Proof was in the pudding. Mm -hmm. He just mad about that, though. That's all. So he going to troll and play with all that other goofy ass shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't give no fuck. You say whatever you want to say. Look, I don't give a fuck if it's negative or positive. I still got talked about. You talking about me. I don't give a fuck. You can talk about me. For sure. Any publicity is good publicity. You know what I'm saying? As long Go as they talking you about You got a nice platform. I don't give what you say. Go ahead. Talk. Keep talking. Keep talking. Bring all that shit to me. Cause that's what it come down to. Yeah. Talk how you want to talk, man. A lot more of it probably go to him, you know, because it's his channel, his platform, you know? Yeah, it probably do, but you got shit where you trolled and played, playing my song. You done fuck around and played my song and got me a check. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you. So you think um, No Jumper can survive in the YouTube world without Chicago? Like without Chicago guests? I ain't gonna say No Jumper because there's a lot of good people on there, you feel me? Adam, as a person, if he keep moving the way he moving, it ain't gonna last, bro, because it's like you doing that shit all the wrong way. You you, you not even being, uh, uh, what, what what's his, um what's his title, a, a, a podcaster? Or you're media not, personality. You're not being that. You feel me? You actually digging into beef and getting into beef shit. You, I seen some shit. You playing with Wolfski and shit. Like, but you know what I'm saying? You asking other niggas. You on a Cairo interview asking about Wolfski. They don't even got like no beef or nothing. None like, why is you even each connecting other. that? Like, and it's like, and Cairo didn't even really have nothing to say about him. You feel me? But you trying to say shit about his head, his brain damage, whatever. When that's a serious topic. You feel me? You can't just do that, you know what I'm saying? He probably feel different as hell, you know what I'm saying? He probably feel like, you never know what that man going through mentally, you feel me? That shit probably did f him up, you know, you never know. And, and for you to speak on that, it's, some, it's, some, it's weak as hell, bro. Then you gonna, then you gonna recite, recite his opposition line, you feel me, to egg some other shit on. When you see a lot of motherfuckers out here really trying to push peace to stop the narrative of this shit, and you, that shit goofy as hell, bro. Then you're not even from now. You know, you know, you a, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you ain't, you know, you ain't did nothing street. Just stop for somebody really fuck you up. You feel me? Somebody gonna fuck him up. He keep playing out here. That shit ain't no joke, man. You out here playing around, bro. Then you steady want to troll. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I don't, at the end of the day, I don't take them serious. You feel me? It's trolling. But when you troll about that particular situation, when Woosie got shot at a funeral, you feel me? At a funeral, you shouldn't even speak on that type of shit. That's, you, you cool with that type of shit? A funeral getting shot up and nigga getting shot in their head at the funeral? 
That shit not cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? My mama was there, nigga. We had all type of family members there. Bro mama was there, grandmas was there. You trolling and playing about this shit. This shit ain't no joke. For real. Yeah, I agree, man. You know. Certain shit podcast niggas don't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do that. I see a lot of these podcast people, Gilly and Wallow them, they don't do that. They don't do that weird ass shit. That's weird shit, man. You using your podcast, you really, uh, real talk, and I feel like he targeting Chicago, because he know, I ain't, you ain't never in your life seen Adam do this many Chicago interviews. He only doing that because he trying to make that pedophile shit roll over. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know how deep it is, but I just seen a nigga on his podcast and got on his ass about some pedophile activity. He literally recorded on his phone while he was on the podcast because he knew they was going to cut the cameras off. But he was exposing them all. I forgot dude's name, but he was talking about some pedophile shit. I'm down. Mm -hmm. And it's like, once I seen that on the internet rolling hard, then he got to doing all these Chicago shit, trying to over sauce it so they kind of, but I don't know, man. It's a, I'm not saying that ain't a good platform to get on. You know what I'm saying? That's a big platform. Hell yeah. And it's definitely opportunity, you know what I'm saying, for Chicago artists when they come on there and get on that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But my advice to you, Adam, chill the fuck out, bro. For real, bro. Stay in your lane, bro. Know, know your lane, bro. Just stay out of this street shit because once you go there, I promise you, you can't go back, bro. Ain't no taking that shit back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Think about your family and your, your kids, bro. Your kids got to see you eventually, bro. Go on here acting up, doing goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That shit ain't about nothing. Chill out before you get fucked up out here by somebody, man. Show that. For a for DJ U on you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he don't want that. Throw Adam in on DJ U in the gloves, man. What, what, what is, you guys need to do, throw the podcasts. <laughs> we need to throw the podcasts on them gloves, Joe. Y'all, yeah. DJ, you go crazy.